The Model 56 is a 105mm towed howitzer produced by Italian military manufacturer Oto Malara. It is also known as a pack howitzer. The Mod 56 can be dismantled into 12 pieces and transported by pack animals such as mules, horses, or camels. This feature makes it ideal for using in areas where there are no roads. It is typically used in mountains, where only hiking trails are available. Designed by Italian artillery general Salvatore Foscoldi in 1956, the Mod 56 was created in response to Italian Army's Alpini's Special Mountain Brigade requirement for a light, flexible and compact howitzer that could be easily used in difficult terrain of mountains and highlands. Although maximum range of fire of this howitzer is limited only to 10.5 kilometers, still though it is versatile enough to be used as an anti-tank gun or even mortar. Due to its hydropneumatic recoil reduction system under the barrel its maximum elevation reaches plus 65 degrees. It this way the mod. 56 howitzer can launch shells with parabolic trajectory for a near vertical hit. It is equipped with integral 5-fold baffle muzzle brake. Two foldable trails are connected directly to axle. This reduces the recoil and gives the ability of 18 degrees traverse making it a perfect weapon for direct fire too. The howitzer also has a safety mechanism that safeguards loader from accidental fire and protects the crew from injuries. Weighing little more than 1 200 kilograms, this howitzer can be towed by light utility vehicles at a maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour. Also it can be easily airlifted by a UH-1 Iroquois or other light utility helicopters. The weapon can be towed to animals, or as mentioned, it can be disassembled and transported piece by piece. Once defensive shield is removed, the mod. 56 howitzer can be carried inside the M113 armored personnel carrier. The gun crew can fully disassemble this weapon in only 3 minutes. The largest part of the mod. 56 weighs 125 kilograms. Hence even in case of insufficient number of pack animals the gun crew can saddle animals only with the biggest parts and carry smaller parts by themselves. Considering this the mod. 56 howitzer enjoys a huge tactical advantage over other similar weapons. Being inexpensive to produce, easy to maintenance and repair, the mod. 56 gained big popularity in many armies worldwide. At the end of 1950s it was selected by NATO as a light field gun. During trials it outperformed a French 105-22 artillery system. The Mod 56 replaced in service the USM 175mm mountain howitzer. Eventually, the Italian Mod 56 has been adopted even by military powers like Germany and the United Kingdom. Actually it was the very first case, when Untied Kingdom purchased military equipment from Italy. Thus Mountain Howitzer has been exported to Argentina, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. Overall, this howitzer has been in obtained by over 30 countries and continues its service in most of them nowadays. Chinese military manufacturer Narinko produces China produces an indigenous version of the mod. 56 of the same caliber. Until the mid-70s this weapon was a standard equipment of the Allied Command Europe Mobile Force comprising of the batteries from UK, Germany, Italy, Canada, and Belgium. By 1983 more than 2600 of these howitzers had been built, from which about 340 were used by five brigades of Italian Army's Alpines Artillery Regiment and Falgor 185th Paratroopers Artillery Brigade. The Mod 56 saw combat actions in 1982 during Falklands War. It was used by Argentina. The United Kingdom already had a new L-118 light gun that could hit targets at longer range, but was heavier and could not be transported by pack animals. However the British Army utilized the mod. 56 in South Yemen during Aden emergency of 1963 to 1967 in Borneo conflict between Indonesia and Malaysia of the same period. Oto Malara's howitzer saw action during the Vietnam War where it was used by Australian and New Zealander troops. The weapon participated in Nigerian civil war. This howitzer demonstrated effectiveness in all kings of climate zones and made its name as a reliable and formidable artillery system. 